You're watching Two Button Crew. The daily show for Nintendo fans. This is Simeon. And this is Scott. <laughs> Just wondering if I could do it in one motion. Hey, it, it almost worked. It was my bad. Speaking of one motion, have you heard of Pokin Tournament? <laughs> one motion as in the one motion it takes to turn this conversation. Yeah, one point turn. Surprisingly, I have heard of this game. Nice. And I think we're going to talk about why that's surprisingly that I have heard of this game. Yeah, so Pokin Tournament, what is it? It's a fighting arcade game. Yes. Developed by Namco with Pokemon Fighters. Namco is a good company for fighting games. It is. They've created Tekken. They also helped with Smash Bros. 4. That's true. They. It wasn't more. Ju it wasn't just, oh, Pac-Man's in here. They actually pretty much co-created it with Nintendo. Yeah. I wonder if that was part of the contract. It possibly was. I think so. So why is this surprising again? Um, because... Because there really hasn't been much fanfare about it, yeah. which I find completely bizarre. Like the first time I heard of it, I was like, what is this? Like, yeah. this is huge. And like, oh, it's already been released in Japan in arcades. It was released in July. What? Like, are people hype about this? Are there tournaments? Like... Show me some gameplay footage. It's so hard to find information on this game. Like, they should have imported it for Evo. Yes. They should have shown it at Evo, at least. Yeah. Ugh. They could have announced a localization at Evo. If there's any time to do it, it'd be there. Oh, big time. That's the scene. Yeah. Speaking Don't wait of here. which, check out our Smash Bros. 4 highlights from Evo 2015. Please it's on do. our channel back a few days. So hype. Gameplay is similar to Tekken. So this is really, like... Nintendo's first time making a hardcore fighting game. Yes, yes it is. With a health bar. Health yes. meter. Not a percentage meter. Uh, but I might have to retract that statement a little bit because I'm going to show you how this game is controlled. Might not be considered a hardcore fighter. I don't know. You okay. tell me what you think. Okay, so you're expecting a, a joystick with buttons and here's what you get. What in the world? <laughs> That's like, that is literally a Super Nintendo controller. <laughs> what in the world? Like, okay, I I actually was able to find some footage of mm -hmm. people playing this game, like the arcade machine, like sitting down at the arcade machine. Okay. But it was taken from like this angle. So I just assumed they're here with their hands like this. Playing you know, an arcade. Playing an arcade machine. Yeah. What in the world were they thinking? So they were thinking that it would be uh, it would appeal more to general gamers. That maybe you could get the people that own Nintendo consoles to go out to an arcade. Did they need to do this? Uh, no, I don't think they needed to do this. But the thing that upsets me the most is that it's a D-pad for crying out <laughs> loud. <laughs> A D-pad when you could have a stick. Sticks, I don't know. To me, like when I would play Street Fighter on the PlayStation, I would play that game and my thumb would be completely raw for, from pressing on the D-pad, doing the quarter, quarter circle motions. Maybe there's not as much of that right. in this game. But if it's a 3D game, you want something that's going to have the more precise controls than a d-pad what if this was optional what if this uh platform that the controller on had a joystick and buttons and you could use the controller if you wanted to that'd be okay I do that, yeah you give people an option okay all right but obviously what's hype about this game it's the roster yes it's uh it's what this game is made of it's all about pokemon mm -hmm. so here's the roster we've got lucario mm -hmm. machamp Suicune, Gardevoir, Pikachu, Gengar, Weevil, Charizard, and Blaziken. Yes. So, a pretty good assortment of first gen through whatever gen. Whatever uh, there's, gen we're at there's, now. there's some third in there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any current ones. No, current there's not. Not any amount. Well, <clears throat> there might be DLC if it comes to. Yeah. Yeah. They, they are going to be adding more in mm -hmm. Japan, at okay. least through updates. Yeah. So this is a, a fighting Pokemon game. Yes. And I know when the concept was first leaked or announced or however it happened, mm -hmm. uh, 
people are speculating, wondering, is it only going to be fighting type Pokemon? Right. But definitely not. There's a, a bunch of quadrupeds. Is that what you call them? Yes. Okay. And uh, people that you wouldn't normally expect to see in like a, a Street Fighter or anything like that. Yeah, like Suicune. Mm-hmm. Suicune is like a stinking dog. Yeah, like a dog with a, a giant ribbon or something. Yeah, a dog with a giant ribbon and the little crystal thing on its head. Yeah. You wouldn't expect to see that in a fighting game. So, and this, this isn't like, obviously it's not exactly like Street Fighter. Like it's still very Pokemon-y, mm-hmm. but still it's a 3D serious fighting game. And yeah. that's crazy. It is cool. Makes me want to play it. I would probably choose, I'd like to play as Blaziken. Mm-hmm, me too. That's <laughs> the one I was thinking of. Or, uh. If Lucario is as OP as he is in Smash Bros, if he has the aura mechanic, then I'll take yeah. Lucario. I I like Blaziken, and I'd also like to play as Gengar. I think Gengar would have a lot of fun mix-ups and such. I bet you they each have like a special move, maybe a special mechanic or something. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. So, so this game, like we said, is only in Japan. Yes. Um, I have some good news, though. It mm-hmm. is being currently play tested at Dave and Buster's. It currently, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I heard that there was something that was possibly going on, but I didn't know how concrete it was. I think it's in a few locations, and I've never been to a Dave and Buster's, but it's Me like either. a big arcade thing. Mm-hmm. Um, they probably have it's like pizza. It's like adult Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I. I why why they don't have one in this area blows my mind. There's not one for miles and miles and miles. I do have some friends from around the world, or the country, that are really fond of Dave & Buster's. They told me if we ever got together, that's where we'd be going. So apparently like it's a place to go for gamers. So that's cool that uh, Pokin Tournament might find a home there. Yes. And um, it should be popular stateside. Mm-hmm. I know that Pokemon is huge. Um, Tekken is big in in the arcades and everything. Mm-hmm. So should this game be localized? Do you think it would get a tournament scene? Yes, it would. It totally would. I think it'd get a console scene. I think it would get a little bit of an arcade scene. Arcades aren't as popular, but like you said, Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I think is a good spot for that. But should they have just made it for consoles originally? I mean, what's really going on here? Why why is this an arcade game? Maybe maybe. It's arcades are still that big in Japan. Like I honestly mm. don't know. Like in America, arcades are dying left and right. Like the biggest arcades are dying. All the arcades around here are dying. We have like one in the entire area, mm-hmm. and, and it costs like three dollars to play anything. Yeah, they have to make up for the lack of volume. So. But I think it would do super well on console. Mm-hmm. Why it hasn't been announced for console at all? blows my mind yeah get on it get on it nintendo (laughs) it's kind of weird that there's just such a lack of news i know and people are asking for it to be on wii u Mm -hmm. like we haven't had a big wii u game since splatoon yeah we haven't nintendo should be intentionally looking for things to fill these gaps yes and i know there was a statement recently nintendo said we like to make games that people play for hours upon hours, hundreds of hours, mm-hmm. rather than making a bunch of games. But there's got to be a balance. Yeah, and this game is like already made. True that. Yeah, it's is not. It, like, it's it? not like they have to spend. I mean, I'm sure that there is some like cross-platform debugging that yeah. has to go on, but it's made. It's already made. Yes, and. Not not a lot of translation. I mean, correct me if I'm mm-hmm. wrong, but we can we can do with the Japanese grunts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I mean, they might have to change some of them because yeah. like the names are different. But mm-hmm. other than that, like oh yeah, what's Pikachu's name? Pikachu. Pikachu and, is. And then Jigglypuff is Purin. Purin. That's right. I remember yes. that from from uh, foreign yeah, they... Smash Bros. copies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... We'd love to see this. We'd buy it. Make noise. Make noise. Mm -hmm. All you Nintendo fans out there that want to play this game, make noise. Um, Go mail Nintendo, snail mail, email, 
however you can. It works. I mean, we saw all the Operation Rainfall stuff. Operation Moonfall happened. You know, Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what else worked? Earthbound. Tats Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Yeah, if that they made a whole nother game, they made a whole nother <laughs> version of the game so if, that we could play it. If that game can come to the United States, any fighting game. Any can. yes, especially Pokemon. Seriously, so make make some noise. This I I am hopeful that this will get a home release and it will get a home release in America. Make some noise. It can happen. You have a dream. I have a dream <laughs> that someday we will be able to play Pokemon tournament mm. in our homes, in the arcades, and everywhere we go. Okay, maybe not everywhere. It doesn't have to be handheld. It was on 3DS. Well, fighting games on handhelds. Yeah. yeah. Home console. Yeah. Home console, please. This is one of our. This is one of those take our money situations. Isn't yes. It? So please take our money. They could. This is just another side note. I know we're, we're going over time. But I had my final breath. In I know. My lungs. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> they could make so much money off of this. They could start doing. Uh, arcade sticks. They mm. could make a bundle off of arcade sticks. Arcade sticks are expensive. A bundle? Like with a stick oh, in a game? Oh yeah, a bundle. <laughs> they could make a bundle and then make a bundle off of the bundle that they've made. <laughs> they didn't have an Indian accent or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, they could... Oh, I get the it. The possibilities I'm are endless. You. We need an announcement. All we right? Do. We need one. We do. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a part of the crew. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Signing out.